September 2012. For the first time in history, the remains of an English monarch were on their way to a laboratory. As we drove away, Joe actually had the skull on her lap. We couldn't just risk rolling, it rolling around in the van, so she was carefully holding on to it. 21st century science now had a unique opportunity to unlock the secrets of a 15th century king. First, those bones. Tudor sources describe Richard as a hunchback, but experts diagnosed scoliosis, not a forward curve, but a sideways one. Scoliosis is always much more apparent when someone is wearing no clothes. So a lot of people will walk down the high street today and you will not know they have a scoliosis. Amazingly, Richard had a modern day body double. He's virtually identical. Yeah. He proved the condition wouldn't have prevented Richard from leading his troops into the heat of battle. Legend also said the king had a withered arm. But again, legend was wrong. If you compare humerus on one side with a humerus on the other, they're exactly the same length. Same for the forearm there, so there's no reason to think that one side is withered compared with the other. But one myth did stand up and became gorier than ever. The evidence showed that Richard's death was utterly brutal. The back of his skull hacked away. We come to the very major slice that's been taken off. It's a very, very dramatic injury that kills you.